Shalom, shalom, nice to meet you. My name is Dubi Sabo and I'm from Jerusalem, from Israel. By the way, I don't know if you can see, but behind me is the Wailing Wall, the Western Wall in Jerusalem. And I am so honored and humbled to partner together with Pastor Myers, Pastor Richard Myers, and with New Life Ministries on one amazing matter for the sake of Israel, for the sake of Jerusalem. We are so proud to partner together so we can join hands in supporting Israel, in standing together with Israel, definitely for such a time as this, that Israel is engaged in one of the most massive and most unprecedented wars that we have ever encountered. As on October 7th, the enemies of Israel, the Hamas from Gaza, infiltrated into Israel, killed over 1,200 Israelis, took hostages into Gaza, and the war still continues now. Many of you are asking why Pastor Myers is so keen to stand with Israel. Why is he partnering with somebody from Israel for the sake of Jerusalem, for the sake of Israel? And I'm here to give you the direct answer without any going around. Israel is the most beloved place on earth from the, for the Lord God of Israel. Today, this is July 7th, and it's 7-7. And if you look at Deuteronomy 7-7, you can see that God speaks in his own voice to Israel and he says, I love you, I love Israel, and I'm going to keep my covenant with you just like I promised your ancestors, I promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And therefore, God's word is valid. God, our God, is a covenant-keeping God. Our God is the, is the entity that promised us that in a miraculous way is going to bring us back to the land of Israel, is going to bring us back on eagle's wings. And he fulfilled these promises that he gave to the ancient prophets of old. And therefore, we know that this is a biblical principle to stand with Israel. If you look at Genesis 12:3. You see that whoever blesses you will be blessed, whoever curses you would be cursed. On Genesis 18:18, 18, 18, you can see that God is speaking and giving a promise to Abraham, and he tells him that through him all the families of the earth will be blessed. If you look at Isaiah 56:7, God is speaking about this very place behind me, and he says, This shall be called a house of prayer for all the families of the earth. If you look at Zechariah 8.23, you see that God is speaking to the Gentiles and he's telling them when the day of rapture will come, every 10 Gentiles will hold on to a sleeve of a Jew and they will say, let us walk with you to the mountain of the Lord, for we know that God is with you. And this is only Old Testament, New Testament. You see what Harav Shaul, the Apostle Paul, is saying to Romans 11, He's speaking to the people and he tells them that we are grafted together, Gentiles and Jews. Jesus spoke and said that through the Jews comes the salvation. This is a principle that we cannot change. And many Gentiles are asking, why stand with Israel now? Why stand with the Jews right now? Because even Jesus said it. He said, this is my promise through the Jewish people, the world and the Gentiles will be saved through the Jewish people. We are literally grafted together. That's a promise of Jesus. These are promises of God. And we want to stand with the word of Lord God of Israel. If you are going to sow a seed into the fertile soil of this land, we know for sure that the Lord God of Israel is going to take it and multiply it a hundred folds. From here, from the most holy place in Israel, the zip code of God as he spoke it to Solomon, he spoke it to David through Nathan the prophet and he said, your son Solomon is going to build me a dwelling and I shall dwell in there. This is the location where the temple of God used to be. This is where the new temple is going to be built. Stand with Israel, support Israel, sow your seed in the blessed land of Israel and you will reap a thousand folds. I love you even, I don't know you yet, but we will meet 
and we should speak a lot. Thank you so much, Pastor Myers. Thank you so much, New Life Outreach and New Life Ministry for doing this extra mile and for standing with Israel for such a time as this.